Thank you, Patty, for that kind introduction, and thank you for the incredible work you do as our Minister for Employment, Labor, and Workforce Development. Uh, since the beginning of our mandate, Patty has been a strong voice for positive change in our country. First as Minister of Status of Women, now as Minister for Jobs, basically, uh, she's worked hard to ensure that every Canadian has a fair and equal shot at success. So thank you, Patty, for all that you do for Canadians and for Canada. My friends, it's great to be back in Saskatoon. Uh, as Patty just mentioned, we just wrapped up a productive discussion here at the University of Saskatchewan with students, uh, which, the students here behind me, who uh, shared their experiences, their perspectives, their hopes, and their dreams. Talked about the difficulty of integrating into a university community as an Aboriginal student, uh, uh, from, often from small communities, living very different experiences than what they're thrust into, the need for uh, supportive, uh, resource-filled environment. Talked about the challenges of stigmatization, but also uh, their hopes and dreams for the future. And if I can share the one story that touched me, uh, well, one among many stories that touched me was Joe's story uh, when uh, we asked well, what was it that drove him since he had had no parents or grandparents or uncles or role models in his communities who were Indigenous studying in the health sciences, why did he push himself to go study into science? Uh, he said, well, when I was in my late 20s and my son was born and I watched the doctors uh, caring for him, uh, I realized I wanted to have that, on, that kind of impact on my community and it drove him to where he is today. And it uh, uh, was an incredibly humbling experience for me to talk about these young people, about the challenges with these young people, about the challenges they're facing, uh, but also underline uh, the incredible opportunity we have as a country in our future uh, when we pull together young people from uh, every background and give everyone a real and fair chance to succeed, give them the tools to help their communities succeed, give them the tools to help uh, build a strong future. That's our responsibility as a country, as a university, as communities build a better tomorrow, and it happens through investing in our young people, and that's why I'm so humbled to be here today. Avec les jeunes, nous avons eu la chance de parler de ce que notre gouvernement fait pour aider les jeunes Canadiens à réussir et d'échanger avec ceux qui profitent de ces initiatives. Les jeunes savent, mieux que quiconque d'autre, à quel point notre monde est en train de changer rapidement. Il ne faut aucune doute que la technologie et l'innovation ont complètement transformé nos façons d'apprendre, de travailler et de vivre. Et bien que cette nouvelle économie offre de nouvelles possibilités, les jeunes Canadiens sentent parfois qu'ils n'ont pas les bonnes compétences pour saisir les possibilités. Like Patty said, I can't tell you the number of times I've heard students tell me they couldn't get a job because they didn't have work experience, and they can't get work experience because they don't have a job. So, our government decided to step up. We developed an ambitious but pragmatic plan to help prepare all Canadians for the good middle-class jobs of tomorrow. Jobs that will put more money in their pockets so that they can save, invest, and grow our economy. Across the country, we're supporting young Canadians by making smart, targeted investments in programs that will prepare them for an increasingly competitive job market in programs that allow people to train, work, and live in their communities. The government's student work placements is one of those programs. We also announced new investments in the Aboriginal Skills and Employment Training Strategy to meet the growing demand from Indigenous peoples for skills development and job training. By getting the skills they need for good middle-class jobs here in the province, the people of Saskatchewan can settle down and raise their families at home. 